What is the meaning of this? Did I order any of you to stop? The princess. What's happened to her? I told both of you explicitly not to take your eyes off the girl. Now well, that's a relief. I presume that's why we're stopped then. She wanted a view of the mountains in the distance. She's not a child, you know. Though... I suppose she's scarcely been outside the castle walls. This very well may be her first time seeing a mountain in person. <sighs> Where is the girl? I need to speak with her. Alone. Don't fret. It's only me. What do you think you're doing, commanding my men to stop their journey? <laughs> you didn't command anyone. Well, they sure seem to think otherwise. Let me explain something to you. You are the princess. The daughter of the most powerful man in the realm. You say you want something, and the world gets it for you. You didn't directly order my men, perhaps. But when you said you wanted to see the mountains, you knew they would stop for you. <sighs> yeah, right. Well, regardless, we're leaving at once, so come on. What's the rush? We have to deliver you by sunrise. That was the agreement we made to the king. And if I don't hold up my end, I likely won't be able to walk again. And I quite like walking, as you can imagine. No. You don't think he would be so harsh? Hmm, you really are sheltered, aren't you? I don't know what kind of fairy tales they read to you in that fancy little castle, but power isn't given to those who are kind. Real power is taken by those who are feared. The king is a brutal man, though he may not show that side to his family. And I will drag you alongside my horse before I risk showing up late. Now come on. Hmm. I know someone like you isn't used to sleeping in these conditions. But we have to stop here and make camp for the night. Try to get at least a little bit of rest. We'll make for the kingdom before sunrise. <laughs> yes. That tent there is where you'll be sleeping. I know it must be so terrible for someone who... <laughs> well... You sure hurried in there quickly. What's that smile for? You've never... slept outside before, huh? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy yourself. Good night. What do you think you're doing, grabbing my arm like that? I don't want to hear you say sorry. You are the princess. If anyone saw you make contact with a beast like me, your father would have my head. Do you understand what you- Hey. Hey, 
don't cry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Just... Please don't... What? You wish to be treated... like the rest of us. I suppose I can understand. I apologize for raising my voice at you. And I'm not just saying that because of who you are. When I was first given this assignment, I begrudgingly accepted I'm the captain of a group of vampire knights. My boys are strong. They're tough. They were destined to be that way. Vampire who are weak. They don't make it in this world. People like you and your father look down on us yet hire my group for the most important quest because they recognize our strength. I hate you noble hypocrites. But the money was just too good to pass up. It's going to do a lot of good for the lives of my men. And as much as I despised you when you first joined this voyage, I suppose you aren't so bad. Seeing your eyes grow wide at the sight of mountains, watching you excitedly rush into your tent because you've never slept in one before, I can't remember the last time I felt wonder and excitement quite like that. It, it's a nice sight to see. It makes me happy that you aren't so stiff and silent like other humans we've escorted. You don't fear us like they do. Us vampire are people too. Well, not exactly. But you've got the spirits. Are you okay now? Good. I should be heading back to my own tent. What did I just tell you about grabbing me? I can't stay with you. How do you think it would look? The captain, sworn to protect you, leaving your tent in the morning. My men are loyal. But that type of information is worth a lot more gold than I have to offer. Why do you want me to stay in the first place? I'm a cold, pale, heartless monster, aren't I? <laughs> That's not how you see me. Well, perhaps you don't know me very well. You are playing a very dangerous game, princess. I was hired to escort you because of my strength, my power, my fierceness. People tremble at the thought of the violence my knights can unleash on their town. You don't 
want to be close to me. <laughs> what was that? Don't you laugh. You shouldn't just... <sighs> Come here, you. <laughs> now that I've got you pinned down, so you can't keep up that silly game of yours, I can see that I was right about you. You aren't as bad as the other nobles. But you're still a spoiled little brat who needs to be disciplined. Is this what you want? To kiss me? What if I start to kiss this delicious neck of yours? I can feel the warmth of your blood so close to me. separated by such a thin, soft, delicate layer of skin. Do you know how easy it would be for me? to drain every last drop for me to tear you apart right now if I wanted to but I won't I want to savor you I want to make you last Don't get too scared now. I can feel your heart be raising. But I only wanted a taste. Just a drop of that delicious highborn blood. You taste so much sweeter than the rest. And now, it's my mark on your neck for everyone to see, for everyone to know who you belong to. <laughs> what if your father sees? Be honest. Do you want me to return you to him? Or would you rather travel the world with me and my knights? Well, your majesty, who am I to deny the princess's request? Now that I've claimed you, now that we're bonded, I'll go to war with your father's armies if it means giving you the life you want with me. I'll kill every last one of them. 